one of the wonderful things for me in coming to New Zealand is to look at what I regard as the works of the finest garden designer on the planet. That is Ted Smythe. He lives and builds his gardens in Auckland. And he's had a long career where he's created many outstanding gardens. He is regarded around the world as one of the most influential of garden designers. Have a look at this one, for instance. Isn't this incredible? This garden he did design in collaboration with long-term collaborator, architect Ron Sang. Ron, you're an architect? Architect for 40 years practice, yes. 40 years, and you've obviously designed this house. Yes, so. I did. Obviously, you worked with Ted Smythe mm. to do the landscaping. He is very good. I don't know that I could put my finger on a better garden designer for small gardens anywhere in the world than Ted. I've always maintained that he is the best in this country. Ted always comes up with something that I've never ever dreamt of, <laughs> like what he's done with my pool. You know, I mean, not in a million years would I have thought of this. Now, when you get a house like this, I mean, it, it, it's certainly not the conventional dog box project home or whatever. It's all arcs and curves mm. and interesting lines. Mm. That must be a lot of fun for you to design a garden to go with that. Yep. They're awful, I mean, they're all different, but in a case like this, that this particular landscape design uh, takes a strong cue from the house. Basically, a good landscape will integrate with good architecture. I think a lot of landscape designers are still struggling to achieve that. <laughs> Objects of art in the garden? Uh, not, not generally. Um, I often do my own sculptural things in gardens. What we're seeing here is Ron's collection and it's part of the design process when I work for Ron that I will bear in mind that the spaces have to accommodate this enormous collection of things. Other recent projects, any that you, you look at that and think, hmm, I'm happy with that one? I've had a couple of really nice jobs on Waiheke Harbour. A very, very beautiful bay with a, a absolutely spectacularly beautiful house. Apart from a very minor amount of exotic, is totally native. And in fact, my client in that case, it's a 600 acre farm, is planting about 10 acres a year of native restoration forest. And uh, it's just an absolute privilege to be able to do that sort of thing. So in, in your dotage now as the wizard, what? <laughs> you're getting the big projects, like the bigger ones where you can play with the effect of the cities. Yeah, well I've been lucky enough to get a couple, yeah. One's a park done by the CBD for a private developer, which is on Maui land, Ngāti Whātua. It was originally part of the sea, and it was a bay which was reclaimed. So while it's only a small park, there's a whole spirit of the sea, and I like to think of that little park as being a sculpture in its own right. And how do you feel when you get to this stage, and there's your work up there on the world stage and they're saying this guy's made a difference? Well it's it's not what I did it for but it's very nice to have 